Hi, I am Karthik. Welcome back to my MarkTech channel. In this video, I am going to uh, detail you about uh, make or formerly known as Integromat, uh, a special module called Data Store. Data Store. Mm, Data store is like a uh, DBMS or like a database management system which is available within the make itself and uh, you can add yeah, update records uh, you, you might know like RDB, RDB, uh, RDBMS like uh, uh, MySQL uh, SQL those things and the this uh, data store is very similar to that it's like a table stored in the uh, cloud when within the uh, with the make and uh, and uh, what are the uses are like uh, there are like multiple operations available and there are like uh, various use of this data store you can use when you construct a large scenarios uh, like uh, basically before uh, getting into the use of this data stores let's build a data store first uh, right click and click data store and uh, mm, click uh, first uh, first thing is like if at all you are getting a say uh, imagine a case like you are getting a um, data through a web book uh, uh, through the web book models any uh, you can send the web book from any uh, any crms or like any bar like facebook forms or like anywhere you wish to or like uh, any anywhere you wish to have and those the those the uh, data are collected in by the web book and uh, this web book has uh, has the users email phone number uh, contact name and the company name and address all those details now you want to store those um, in a in a database and then uh, whenever wherever you wish to check or like wish to have uh, ha have this data you can fetch out of this data store itself you don't have to use any external modules that is the major purpose of this uh, uh, so for when for at the first time when i'm receiving the data you can add and replace a record it won't like let's connect it and uh, then you can uh, you have to for the data store to operate from uh, effectively it has to have the data structure in place data structure is like how uh, how the data is going to be let's delete this model since i have already a data structure here yeah my data store is the data structure and you can just browse the my uh, how the uh, data is stored by clicking the browse button or like going to the data stores option in the left scenario left side of the menu you can see this is how the structure looks like uh, the key name and uh, mm, uh, to, uh, key name email comfort uh, company these are all the uh, these are all the uh, these are all the uh, columns of this data uh, this data structure and uh, data is stored in this structure with email as the key since i have given email as the key it will store uh, the email as the key and email is the unique identifier uh, um, for this table and then you can add any if at all you like to add anything you can add uh, data here manually also but most prob most uh, most times you don't have to add it manually because when you create a, a web book a more a data store module it will automatically get added and it will automatically get appended also So uh, this way you can manually add it, but normally it's it won't be required most of the times, right? And uh, uh, and uh, and uh, for this data store, I have given the key as email. You can also uh, don't have to uh, give the key. You can use it. Uh, leave it as blank. And if you leave it as blank, then what would happen is like 
it would uh, it would uh, assign a unique id for the data uh, for the as the key like it's like a roll number uh, as to for storing the unique data so you can use that key also uh, specifically for uh, uh, to uh, to uh, get it good to fetch the data again let's add a data first let's let's test a data and let's come back to here process all data it was turned off because of some of the errors and now you can see there is a error popping up here the reason for error it would be interesting like we uh, i will uh, see like um, the key is empty it has added a key right it's not uh, it's appending all the data here say just wait say this is the key we have changed earlier the key was email and uh, now the key is uh, uh, some alphanumeric character that is that is what it happened and uh, that uh, and uh, mm, and it's storing the new or it's opening the data uh, opening the incoming data at the bottom of the table uh, actually i wanted to show you some other error but it's throwing up some error in the sheet module let's fix this one or like uh, the caller doesn't have the permission i have the sheet doesn't have the permission to this user but now i have set it right it should have the permission now let's turn on process old data ah success right okay the data is uh, the data is populating in the google sheet successfully without any issue but uh, the intention was not to show and fix the how to fix the google sheet error but the intention was like um, uh, the error was uh, here was like uh, yeah, a permission error for the google sheet i have rectified it that's why it was not working earlier but it was working fine now and let's get back to the data store just because i have kept the unique key as uh, unique key as empty it's assigning a own unique key make is assigning a own unique key and uh, so it's not uh, throwing any error but what if if i'm giving any phone number or email unique identifier as the uh, um, as the key what would then happen is we will then assign the same contact and test let's let's test the same data again ideally it should show error yeah this is what i wanted to show earlier the first time when we when we passed it was not showing any error but this time it was showing error the difference is earlier we have kept the key as uh, as blank and make filled its own key but now the setting is like duplicate key and uh, now the setting is like key is the mail but the same customer has come through the floor scenario again and now it's showing the error so it's not i have also set it like and uh, it doesn't allow uh, uh, override the existing record so my make tries to insert the same record this customer again and it sees like it's already populated and uh, so if the key is same email then it would not work then it would not work you can use uh, use this case and you can uh, mm, uh, you, uh, you can uh, uh, depending on the use case or uh, like the, your business requirement you can keep this as a uh, to allow duplicate values or don't want to allow the duplicate values you can you use this as a filter also filter also so now we have seen all these things right but what is the use case and what is the getter record thing right 
the key uh, the for the data store uh, the thing is like once you are uh, say you have a scenario you have a scenario a where you store all the incoming data and it you also add tags to the you also add like company name tags uh, tags associated with the contacts or like the what are the campaigns you have done for that specific contact and then in another scenario called scenario b let's call it as scenario b and uh, imagine a case like where uh, where you are collecting informations of a customer for, a, for when you are promoting a car and uh, the customer has expressed the preference earlier and uh, now and uh, you have uh, uh, test drive has been taken and uh, those details are passed from a CRM to the web book and from the scenario A you have collected all those details and uh, those details are uh, dumped into the data store which created earlier and uh, that um, and uh, now we are planning a reactivation campaign as the customer has not uh, responded after that uh, and we are uh, sending a reactivation campaign and uh, the customer has uh, responded to that and now what we are having is like we need to know what were what was the customer preferences earlier so that we don't have to ask them again and uh, and depending on his preference then we can uh, give a uh, promote the uh, desired car with the desired future and all those things just because like earlier we have uh, selected all those customer uh, dumped all those customer details like say for a car uh, the customer would have given all the uh, the car name and you would have stored all the car names with specification with futures the price everything and now uh, and uh, when mm, and what was the customer preference comment from the sales executive all those things and now you can you can uh, search the database by giving the customer P, uh, email id or the key you have set and uh, say if at all you are doing a, re a reactivation campaign and you have ch you are uh, some of the uh, you are sending the de uh, detail of the customer again to the make but to a different module the module name is scenario b and uh, the first module where we dumped is scenario a right okay and now what we can do we can see like uh, once the uh, once we receive the data you can get a record get a record like get a record is a simple uh, function where you can pass the key of the um, pass the key and get all the details of the uh, customer back again and uh, um, so uh, so you can then build a router and build a filter with uh, like uh, if the comp if the customer preference is a petrol car diesel car or electric car or if the preference of the is on high mileage like above 20 kilometers per liter or below 20 kilometers those kind of things and you can build campaigns with the active campaign or like any other uh, or like any um uh, ca uh, campaign platforms you have marketing platforms basically you have this is how you can use the data store and uh, uh, you can data store is simple like uh, also the data store is simple where you can dump all those customer details and refer back refer back uh, fetch it again by passing the key you can also use other modules of data store like uh, add or replace a record is the one which we used in the earlier scenario update a record you can give the input of the uh, unique key and then update the response other values and you can get a record get a record is the one which we used here and uh, you can also use count record count records is like you uh, you you can see like how many customers have passed through a particular campaign uh, because you can build multiple different data stores for a particular data store you can uh, see like how many uh, customers have passed through this data store in turn which means like how many customers have passed through this campaign run this model only it will show like seven right count is seven it's showing all the rec uh, count of all the records here so you can use this module uh, 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 use this model for count records and use this one for get records let's test a get record once
save changes and uh, yeah, data has been passed right so what we you can see like sorry I haven't checked the number of operations see this is what I have uh, told you like if you give the key it will all uh, give all the details of the customer which we stored in the data store like if you give the key the email ID it will return with name email company everything and you can then create a filter uh, whether if the company name company name exists or like if the company name is doesn't exist you can build campaigns according to that so this is how the uh, you can use the data store of make a uh, um, effectively and uh, you can uh, build campaigns or like you can build uh, use cases uh, as per your business requirement let me know in case if you have queries in the comment section i'll happy to answer that please consider subscribing channel thanks Bye.